back to my huge channel everybody i'm uh, actually ending this video right now and filming this entry because of course uh, i forgot to film it and today i want to take you with me for a full day in paris which consists of a shooting a um, sample sale grocery shopping like i wouldn't call it a very typical day because i have a guest here which is the phenomenon the queen it's Elisa Lay. so we had a fun day i think a usual saturday would look a bit more quiet uh, but uh, we had a good time and don't forget to subscribe watch the vlog it's funny and it's awkward because i'm in paris and people are um, mean to me <laughs> <laughs> so guys, right now I'm um, at the bridge which is at the Grand Palais and um, it is I think 10.30 a.m. Saturday morning. We came here because we're doing a little editorial shot for uh, with Elisa and she's in a full Rick Owens look. It's amazing and the photographer is also doing a great job. He's um, photo photographing with a contacts an analog camera which is like one of my favorites and best and also the one that you and Tella used to use in 2012 selling campaign so i think that's pretty cool and afterwards i will go to the lamba sample sale here and check out what they have i really really hope that they have the 2020 collections um i hope so and also of course i hope that the prices are not too immensely high so now i think i'm gonna go back again they're like around uh, three to four brides just on this one bridge uh, because it's one of the most typical uh, places. Oh, it's the Pont Alexandre the uh, Third. Yeah, let's see. But it's it's fun. But watching other people do something is exhausting as well. So what I need right now is a coffee and afterwards go to the sample sale and then we'll have entrecote dinner. Let's have a walk through a local French market, which apparently is not very local because I only hear English almost. Only people like really grocery shopping seem very French. It's beautiful and they have a great cheese selection, every selection. Here you have fish and stuff, cheese, nice. And now it's actually the, the um, market right in front of the Palais de Tokyo. So uh, that's also amazing, like because in two weeks there will be like a huge fashion crowd in front. And right now it's a market.
So right now we're going to the sample sale. I mean, it's been two weeks since I've been here and uh, it's the third one I'm going to. My bank account doesn't want to, it's striking, but I will just, I just actually want to see and also want to show you what you have. And I mean, it's kind of sad because it's also something that everyone is missing apparently, but I mean, it's still cool to have a look at least. And as I said, I wish, um, I really wish that they have the last collection and that the queue is not too long because I know that a lot of people have the invite, so. You don't like this. It's not edgy enough for you. What do you think of these? It's a 36 and obviously height. It's a no. <laughs> So guys, as you can see, I'm glowing and it's also a glowing card because no, it's honestly, it's not cheap cheap, but um, Elisa and I got a few things. I will show you what I bought. It's amazing and it's also, it's not something that I needed, but it's something you're not able to ever find again. And since I love the old collections of Namba, I needed to get it. It's a pair of boots and actually knitwear, but amazing knitwear and also with iconic pieces. Alisa also got a very, very iconic boot. Uh, you probably might know. So right now we're planning to, can we, we actually want to uh, go by Metro, but it's, we just cannot carry it because they didn't have totes in the size of the boots. So now we actually have to carry it like, I don't know, some fools. Anyway, um, and now, yeah, it's not, we don't, it's funny when you don't have 10 euros left for an Uber. You know that feeling when you just chopped and then you don't have the money for like water? Why are you lying? We actually, she's lying. No, no, we actually, we actually need toilet paper, by the way, you know that? <laughs> we need some toilet paper. So now, yeah, I think, let's go by Metro then, huh? Yeah, we need. I, I, let me check how much an Uber costs. No, we're buying a Lanva and we live in the struggle life taking the metro. Yeah, but that's been my life that's the balance. whole time because but I never learned. That balance. Yeah, that's we're extreme balancing. balance, like <laughs> a 190 ticket. Okay, let's see.
I can't, I can't. Iconic. I can't. How good is the sandwich? You haven't eaten for him? Go on top right now. <laughs> I had this. And before that, I ate like at 9 a.m. I ate some Kellogg's. So as you see, I'm really watching out of what I eat here. No. Uh, we've just been to Casino, which is like the um, generic supermarket here. A few days ago, I bought this toast bread. I actually don't like toast, but they didn't have normal bread. And now I uh, made the experience with it. I actually bought it, I think it was like 4 euros for this. Because it looked like it's a bit uh, more healthy than the complete white ones. But apparently this is full of sugar. It's... For me personally, it's not bread. And then I have this, which is like a duck's filet, and I will make a toast because we're hungry. I'm going to eat uh, in a few hours, so we need to catch up. Then I don't know what Elisa got some 3D fromage uh, chips, very exquisite stuff. And the most important thing our toilet paper. Yes, important and expensive. What? You're eating orange juice with Cheetos. Oh my god, oh my god, this is so... Mm. Finesse, this is very Paris. to like several cafes and restaurants haven't eaten it's suddenly gotten pretty cold and right now i think it's like 10 degrees or something definitely too cold for us it seems like everybody is heading out at saturday evening and we are heading home uh, we went to marais and uh, had uh, some wine there it was super cool but cool also temperature wise <laughs> Yep, and now we actually think of what we're getting to eat, but actually I have food at home, so I'm gonna look if I just eat that, so yeah. I'm tired. I'm tired. Though. I was not expecting you to be tired, I have to say, like honestly, I was expecting me to be, but I wasn't expecting you to be. I'm an old lady. We're not old ladies, everybody thinks we're 22, and we are 23 actually, so well, it's fine. Okay, now we're heading home and do we just eating the noodles we have at home or what? We plan to have some entrecote. They said, uh, I'm not a huge entrecote fan, like, uh, I don't even have to eat like specific meat, but there is a very famous pizza place. On the other hand, I didn't come to Paris to eat pizza because I'm, I'm from Germany and we have like a huge Italian crowd there and they have the best pizza ever. So I'm thinking right now, so I will not show yet. <laughs> she just told me that I should film the cool tuba and she's always ha acting humble and she's like, oh, I'm just like you guys. But no, I'm the best, I'm the coolest. I'm just walking like, shaking my ass, acting like I'm running, like I'm so funky, I'm so cute. She's the most arrogant bitch. Stop, bitch, mind your business. The most arrogant bitch that I know with an attitude that you guys cannot imagine and yeah don't believe what you see on youtube it's not the real her huh? what huh? so guys we made it home uh, we walked for 30 minutes which is a very usual amount of time walking in the city i'm getting used to it since i was a car lady i'm gonna eat my pasta from last night uh, elisa doesn't want to she wants to stay skinny so um she will probably have some very nice water um, this
this was super fun tell me if you like this kind of videos i know it didn't have like a huge purpose but i just wanted to show you like how my weekends are here like and as you see it's it's cool it's cool i feel the vibe so don't forget to subscribe and see you to the next one ciao all a bit hello good morning uh, i'm speaking to you from day two with elisa and right now we just got ready and we are planning to go to some vintage stores and a flea market in Marais. Um, it is 20 degrees but it's kind of coldish so I wore my favorite Rae sweater, a Balenciaga men's shorts and some boots and that I borrowed from Elisa. She has them also, has bought them second hand. I'm very happy with my fit. It's a comfy fit it's nice for shopping and stuff so i hope i will find something I'm actually looking for these kind of boots maybe i will find it in one of the uh, vintage stores i'm a bit scared of paris based vintage stores because i think they have their special paris price tag on them so i'll i'll see but maybe i find something <laughs> was super fun tell me if you like this kind of videos i know it didn't have like a huge purpose but i just wanted to show you like how my weekends are here like and as you see it's it's cool it's cool i feel the vibe so don't forget to subscribe and see you to the next one ciao all a bit